on this Ash Wednesday in the year of our Lord 2022. I wish you God's grace and God's peace. I'm filming this message specifically for our online congregation who may be unable to be here in our sanctuary tonight. Tonight we will practice uh, some ancient rituals of receiving ashes on our foreheads or on our hands. Ashes that we made last night out in the back parking lot as we burned some palm leaves from last year's Palm Sunday. We wrote on those palm leaves our own regrets, that which we wish we hadn't said, that which we wish we hadn't done, and we put them in the fire and burned them as a way of letting go, or at least practicing letting go, so that one day we will really be able to be free of that stuff that seems to cling to us and hang on uh, and weigh us down. We'll also be focusing tonight our, our prayers on the people of Ukraine and for the war that they are going through. It is heartbreaking to see the injustice being done to innocent men, women, children who have done nothing wrong uh, at the hands of a tyrant, Vladimir Putin. We want to be prayerful. And one of the ways that we will be praying is by singing a, a Teze chant that is in that is prayed throughout Russia and Ukraine in Orthodox churches. I invite you to sing it with me at home. Gospodi pomiluj. Would you sing that with me? Gospodi It is what Russian Orthodox and Ukrainian Orthodox Christians pray in every worship service, and it means, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show compassion. One of the prayers that we are printing in our bulletin tonight is a prayer for Ukraine from the community of Teze, France. Let us pray. God of love, we are disconcerted by the violence in our world and especially now by the acts of war in Ukraine. Enable us to stand in solidarity with those who suffer and who live today in fear and anxiety. Sustain the hope of all those in this beloved part of the world who seek justice and peace. Send the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Peace, to inspire the leaders of nations and all human beings. Let us pray together. Lord, have mercy. Gospodi pomiluj. A prayer that um, comes to us from Henry Nouwen as he began the season of Lent one year. One of the great Christian writers of the 20th century who himself had many doubts, which gives us permission to have our doubts as well. He wrote this. The Lenten season begins. It is a time to be with you, Lord, in a special way, a time to pray to fast, and thus to follow you on your way to Jerusalem, to Golgotha, and to the final victory over death. I am still so divided. I truly want to follow you, but I also want to follow my own desires and lend an ear to the voices that speak about prestige, success, pleasure, power, and influence. Help me to become deaf to these voices and more attentive to your voice, which calls me to choose the narrow road to life. 
I know that Lent is going to be a very hard time for me. The choice for your way has to be made every moment of my life. I have to choose thoughts that are your thoughts, words that are your words, and actions that are your actions. There are not times or places without these choices. And I know how deeply I resist choosing you. Please, Lord, be with me at every moment, in every place. Give me the strength and the courage to live this season faithfully, so that when Easter comes, I will be able to taste with joy the new life that you have prepared for me. Amen. Gospodi pomiluj. This evening, Pastor Sharon will read this invitation to the observance of Lenten discipline from the United Methodist Book of Worship. I share this with you, our online congregation, with the hopes that these words may be encouraging to each of us as we begin this Lenten journey. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the early Christians observed with great devotion the days of our Lord's passion and resurrection. And it became the custom of the church that before the Easter celebration, there should be a 40 day season of spiritual preparation. During this season, converts to the faith were prepared for holy baptism. It was also a time when persons who had committed serious sins and had separated themselves from the community of faith were reconciled by penitence and forgiveness and restored to participation in the life of the church. In this way, the whole congregation was reminded of the mercy and forgiveness proclaimed in the gospel of Jesus Christ and the need we all have to renew our faith. I invite you, therefore, in the name of the church, to observe a holy Lent by self-examination and repentance, by prayer, fasting, and self-denial, and by reading and meditating on God's holy word to make a right beginning of repentance and as a mark of our mortal nature, let us now bow before our Creator and Redeemer. Gospodi pomilui. God, we ask your blessing on each person who is viewing and worshiping with us online. for those who are in need of your healing touch in body, soul, mind, spirit, or healing in relationships, we ask your blessing. Guide us by your Holy Spirit in this Lenten journey, this pilgrimage of trust and help us to be prayerful and compassionate with those who are going through difficulty, those who are in harm's way, those who are facing injustice, and all people of goodwill who are working to build the beloved community wherever it is in the world. We offer you these prayers and the prayers of each of our hearts in the name of Jesus who taught us to pray together saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As Christians are reminded this day, this night, on Ash Wednesday, remember that you are dust. From dust you have come, to dust you shall return. Repent and believe in the good news. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.